What is up everybody, it is CJ Place here and I am back with another Sims 3 World Overview and today we're going to be looking at Nightmare Valley. Now, I'm not 100% sure about all the packs that you'll need for this world just yet. I am seeing some late night because I see that lounge down there and I am seeing some showtime because I think there's like a little lounge or something, a karaoke lounge or something that I'm seeing. So, I know you'll need those two packs. I'm not 100% sure about the other ones. This world is very spooky y'all, like very spooky. <laughs> now, I do also want to point out that as y'all can see, there are no roads in this world so that means Sims will try to walk or run everywhere i would suggest you getting a bike or maybe getting a horse or something like that if you have the pets expansion pack that way you know your, your sims can get around a lot faster let's go ahead and get into it y'all i will leave this link down below there's also a save file for this world i'm not going to be looking at the save file just because we're looking at the world today but there is an official save file so all of that will be linked down below but let's go ahead and get into it let's go ahead and start down here in this little corner over here so let's go next i do want to point out too that some of the lots in this world are in a different language and some of them are blank for me so if i'm not able to pronounce everything please forgive me <laughs> but let's go ahead and get into it y'all let's go ahead and check out this little area first all right y'all so it looks like there's a park back here you have the, the bonfire there is also the time machine it kind of spawned here for me you also have the playhouse the swing the sandbox slide and seesaw there's also a place to sit so back here appears to be like a little park area behind like an apartment or something there's also like a grill back there and a place to sit as well let's uh scroll down to see if we can actually go inside of this slot or not there's also a dumpster back here but let's see if we can scroll down really quick because i don't think there's anything in here no so this is pretty much empty from what i'm saying we'll scroll up again yeah so it is pretty empty i think i saw something over there so let's check out that lot next to see what's inside of there all right y'all so let's go ahead and scroll down real quick oh this is like a store is this like a little store or something because we have like the display uh tables right here with you like with little toys and stuff on display and a camera this looks like it was a, a department store or something or maybe like a kid store maybe i don't know but this looks kind of cool though it's really abandoned you have like the display rack that came with supernatural i, I think and then this play uh case also came with university and then this cabinet over here came with season so you won't eat that there is like a desk i guess it's like the front desk there is a sim back here oh no this sim is like r.i.p <laughs> so you have like a desk or like a front desk or something like that like the cash register right there you also have a display more display racks and i want to say that this like drink display case came with uh island paradise if i'm not mistaken so you wouldn't eat that pack as well but it does look pretty much empty other than that there is like a garage over here and then you have the bathroom there is a fridge and a countertop in here so you have like a little mini kitcheny type of area you know maybe if you want to like role play working at the store or something i don't know <laughs> but let's go ahead and check out this slot over here now there is something back here let's scroll up so we can see what it is on the on the top so this looks like it's a factory or something let's go ahead and check it out we'll scroll down i know there's something in the there, but let's see what's what else is in there all right y'all so let's go ahead and scroll down really quick so it does look kind of empty so far there is of course something down here that i saw it of at first there is like some scrap over here in this corner and everything else is just like you know just clutter items nothing that you can really use let's go ahead and scroll down below because there is something down here isn't there oh let's bring the walls up just so we can see oh yeah there is some stuff down here so i'm seeing like debris from world adventures that you can like kind of clear off so you will need world adventures as well but other than that it doesn't look like there's anything in here per se so you know you could definitely add more onto this building or just keep it as it is now let's go ahead and check out the building beside it because i'm not sure if that's also empty and then we'll like check out some of these homes and stuff but let's check out this building re really quick all right y'all so let's go ahead and scroll down into c so let's go all the way down there is like a bathroom right here in this corner and a chair like one chair right there it's pretty much empty down here you could definitely uh build more onto it if you would like you have a room in here with a dresser and a couch there's also a bed here and a bed over there and then there is like a little kitcheny area over here as well oh you know what can we turn on the lights so we can all see yeah <laughs> look at that so there there's like a little kitchen area over here let's go ahead and go upstairs again okay so up here there's just like one chair and there's nothing really else up here and then up at the top this also empty so you could definitely build more onto this you even have like a stairway with you can go up to the top to build things up there if you would like but now y'all let's go ahead and let's check out these houses let's check out this building and then we'll check out the the houses over here all right y'all so i don't know if there's anything inside of it but we can scroll down really quick just to see let's go all the way down to the bottom the kitchen is over here in this corner you have the bathroom there's also like a bedroom kind of in here you have like the sleeping bag so you have a sleeping bag and a dresser in here then over here is pretty empty there are some stairs that go downward so let's go down here so there's nothing down here in the basement but you could definitely add more if you would like and then let's go ahead and go upstairs so upstairs is pretty empty up here and then it's also empty up here on this floor and then it's also empty up here at the top so you could definitely like of course leave it leave it as is or build more onto it you can also build more things up here if you would like let's go ahead and check out the house that's beside it all right y'all so we're down here at this house and this house looks so spooky like look at that look at that old tree <laughs> all right let's go ahead and scroll down 
So let's see, when you come in, you have a little sitting area over here. You have like a little sitting area over here. You have the dining table right there. The kitchen is in this corner. There is a bathroom back there and it is like a singular chair in this room. There are some stairs that go down. So let's go down here first. So down here is pretty empty. Nothing down here. You could definitely add more onto it. And then when you go upstairs, there is a bedroom over here. Um, And you have like empty rooms. So you could definitely like put more things in here if you would like. There's also a dresser over here as well. So, so this is pretty cool, y'all. You have tons of space in this house. So let's go ahead into the house beside it and let's check this out. So I do see a bench that your Sims could sit on, but let's go ahead and scroll down. So there is a garage over here in this corner. There's a table right there. There's also the self-serving bar and the kitchen in the back. And then there is a bathroom right here. And then you have a bedroom slash like living room sitting area. And then there's also a bathroom back here as well. And I don't think there's anything in the back of the house or anything like that. No. So let's go ahead and check out uh, these houses. So let's check this one out first. Let's uh, go to the map really quick just to make sure we're not missing anything oh yeah we are listen it's the nightmare valley saloon so let's check out the saloon first all right y'all so we're at the saloon and it appears to have like a upstairs balcony that you can definitely like come out here because i see the door you could build stuff on it and there is like a little wraparound kind of porch with some um benches that your sims could sit on but let's go ahead and open it up so let's see when you come inside you have the bar right here plenty of places to sit down at the bathrooms over here in this corner let's go ahead and go upstairs then upstairs you have like four different beds and you also have like two like empty rooms that you could definitely add more beds or like a bathroom or something or a nursery if you need to so your sims can like drink down below and sleep up here at the top so that's pretty cool all right y'all so now let's go ahead and, and we'll just work this way you know so let's go ahead and check out this little house beside it it looks like a trailer but let's go ahead and check this out really quick when you come in you have a little sitting area right here the bedrooms over here with two beds you have the kitchen in this corner and you also have a bedroom right here and then you have a bathroom over here in this corner and then out in the back let's bring the walls up and then out in the back you have the inventing table some scrap that spawned out here and then you also have like an old uh tub so your sims could technically take a bath out here if you want them to okay <laughs> all right let's go ahead and check out this house since we're like right here to it all right y'all so we're down here at this house and i do see like a couch out here and a swing set and a rocking chair also let's go ahead and scroll down to see what it looks like on the inside so when you come in you have a bathroom the garage is over here kitchen the living room with the grand piano you have the dining table and the bookshelf let's go ahead and go upstairs so when you go upstairs you have a master bedroom over here and a smaller bedroom right there and then you have the bathroom so that's pretty cool oh and then in the back there is a back door and you have a table with a chair okay all right y'all so let's go ahead and check out these houses there are there was this house right here that we'll check out in a bit but let's just go and uh look at these real quick so these houses look similar to the one that we just saw i don't know if they have the same like layout on the inside i do see some of the same furniture out here let's go ahead and scroll down oh yeah so this one is like this one that we just saw because they have the grand piano and the like the same like layout and stuff like that yeah so this one looks pretty similar to that one let's check this one out really quick since we're like right here to it it does it doesn't have a couch i don't oh the couch is in the back this time and it has a rocking chair out in front but when you come down here you have the bathroom the garage as well the kitchen of course no grand piano this time so just like a bookshelf in a sitting area with a coffee table and then upstairs is pretty much the same uh it's like the same objects and stuff like that so there's that let's go ahead and check out this house right here since we're to it and i don't think that we've seen this uh little trailer right here so we'll check that out in a bit too but let's go ahead and check this one out there is like a little gnome down here and a dumpster i don't think you can dumpster dive in the this one i think this one just might be set dressing but let's go ahead and open it up so when you come inside let's see there's a kitchen and whoa y'all it needs to be cleaned in here but you have like a kitchen you have the computer desk with no chair there's also a table right here a toy box a high chair did something bad happen here y'all because it's burnt up like everything is burnt okay i don't really know Look, looks like someone was making dinner or something i don't even know what happened in here but like you have like the bookshelves they got burnt up the bed over here the dresser you have the bathroom over here in this corner i don't know again there is like a safe file for this world so you could find out more if you have the safe file but i don't have it installed right now so i don't know y'all that's that's crazy let's go ahead and check out this house because i don't think that we've seen this one out in front there is a couch a coffee table and there is a grill out here let's go ahead and scroll down so when you come inside you have the kitchen over here with the, with the kitchen table you also have a bedroom in this corner and then you have the bathroom over here in a little dresser right there and then out on the back there are like you know the back door that leads out to the back so you have like the throwing disc and the football you also have the water trough and you have the picnic table the seesaw there is a clothesline out here and you have like an old boat and an old car so you have that <laughs> all right y'all so we looked at a lot of the things over here in this area i don't think we've seen this house yet this one is set dressing but i don't think that we've seen this house so let's check this out and then we're like we'll work our way over on to this side of the map but let's check out this house first all right y'all so we're down here at this house and it's very spooky like look at the the scenery in this world y'all so spooky <laughs> all right let's go ahead and scroll down to see what's on the inside so when you come in there is a bathroom over here in this corner a dresser a little walkthrough area you do have the pet bed so you will definitely need pets you also have the dining area over here the den area over here with the fireplace there's also like a sculpture right there in the corner and then over here you have the kitchen let's go ahead and go upstairs so when 
you go upstairs, you have a little walkthrough area right here. You could, and over here as well, you could definitely add more things. I think there's a bookshelf right here in this hallway. So you have that. There's also some stairs that go upward, which we'll check out in a bit, but you do have a master bedroom over here in this corner. And then over here, you have a smaller bedroom. Maybe this could be like a teen's bedroom. You have the weight machine and the little love seat and like, you know, a lot of clutter and TV and stuff like that. So maybe this is like a kid's bedroom. There's also a stereo in here, but let's go ahead and go upstairs real quick. So upstairs, there's nothing in this room or this one. You could definitely add more onto it. And then when you go upstairs again, there is nothing up here as well, but you could definitely add more onto it. There's also like a balcony up here that you could add things onto. And then you do have like another little wraparound porch right here that you can add stuff onto. Nothing really in the back. There is like a little hole. So I guess the dog <laughs> was digging a hole back there or something like that. But all right, y'all. So let's go ahead and go back this way. We didn't look at this house and we'll, so let's look at this house and then we'll look at the stuff over here. So let's check out this house first. All right, y'all. So we're down here at this house. Let's go ahead and open it up. So when you come inside, oh, this house is kind of nicer. It's nicer than the other ones that we've seen so far. <laughs> all right. So maybe not the last house that that black house was kind of nice though but anyway when you come in you have the kitchen area over here the kitchen table the little sitting room there is a bedroom over here and then you have the bathroom in the corner there's nothing really out here on the back but the, there is a back door so you could probably add things out here if you would like but all right y'all let's go over here next and check out this little area it looks like it's a, an apartment complex maybe and then down here looks like it's a little courtyard or something you have a pond where your sims can come and fish tons of debris and stuff like that in it though <laughs> um there's some scrap out here as well you have a little playground for kids to play on with the sandbox and seesaw and all that and the swing and there's also a dumpster out here i don't think you can dumpster dive in this one but there is a dumpster and you have some uh some complexes out here i don't know if they're open that you can actually like uh, go inside or not but we can scroll down just to see they do look empty i don't know if all of them are empty oh this one isn't oh let's check out this one then let's see so see let's see when you come in you have like the kitchen over here the bathrooms over here in this corner over here's like a little den area you have a desk where you can put a computer and then when you go upstairs there are the bedrooms so you have like a master bedroom over here a bedroom right there a bedroom over here with bunk beds and then you also have a nursery with a potty in it so that's pretty cool and then over here i missed this earlier but you have like the gazebo and like a little stage platform over here and then you also have the grills with the picnic table park benches and the picnic baskets as well so let's check out this house because i don't think we've seen this house and then we'll also check out this lot over here next so let's go over here and check this one out all right y'all so we're down here at this house and i do like it like look at that let's go ahead and open it up though so when you come in you have the bathroom there is a kitchen area over here there's also the dining room table oh so this is like the little dining room so you have the dining room table a little living room sitting area with the bookshelf and you have the dresser and the stereo let's go ahead and go upstairs so then when you go upstairs you have bedrooms over here and then there is like another little table that you could put like a computer or like sims could do homework or something like that so there is that so this house is kind of cool though and there is like a little pond back out here so your sims could fish you know if you want them to but let's go ahead and check out this uh lot over here i don't know what that is but let's check it out real quick all right y'all so this appears to be like a house but it looks this is like a really big mansion i guess your sims could live here let's go ahead and just scroll down to see all right let's see so i made it a little bit brighter in here just so we could see so we have like little park benches where your sims could sit down at there is a bathroom right here a bedroom over here in this corner there is the kitchen over here with like double stoves and everything like that so you have like a kitchen over here there is also a place over here where your sims could eat at then there are some stairs that lead downward which we'll check those out in a bit then over here in this area is empty there is also a bed over here where your sims could sleep at and then you have these showers and there's also like another bedroom over here where your sims could sleep let's go downstairs really quick just to see what's down here all right y'all so we have like a long hallway some empty rooms this is like a little room i don't know what this is y'all I don't know, but there's like a room with chairs in it. And then you have another room over here. Maybe this is like storage or something. Would it just store items or something? I'm not sure. But let's go over here to this corner. And then over here on this corner, you have like a little like a little work room because you have like the chemistry set. And then you also have the inventing table. So maybe your Sims could do experiments or something down here. And then there is also a sink. And then, uh, you know, we have a skeleton, a Sim skeleton over here. So RIP to them. But let's go ahead and go upstairs. So when you go upstairs, there is a bathroom right here. There's also like a, a room in here with like a desk. You also have more beds and more tables over here and then over here on this side there's like a little office area i guess you know a little office area and then you have like a bathroom over here and then like more places for your sims to sleep at and then you have some tables as well let's go ahead and go upstairs again you know is this like an asylum y'all this is giving me like asylum vibes i don't know i could be wrong but i'm getting like asylum vibes you have a bathroom right here a kitchen over here and then you have like a little like recreational room maybe with the chess table the art easel places to sit down at the bookshelf and tables for your sims to sit at yeah, i'm thinking this is like an asylum or something y'all let me know what y'all think is this like a prison an asylum just a house i don't know there's a bathroom right here you have beds over here and then you have more beds over here with another table for your sims to sit at but this is pretty cool though like this is a pretty big place and then there's also like a empty room up here that you could probably build onto if you would like then there's like this little building down here let's scroll down really quick 
quick just to see so it looks like it's a little office you have like the desk and you have like the bathroom and then there's also like a dog house so maybe he's the dog that like oh maybe like guard dogs that keep like the place safe oh okay that's pretty cool all right y'all so now let's go ahead and check out this place is at the edge of the map i don't know what it is but let's go ahead and check it out real quick all right y'all so this place is giving me prison vibes for some reason i could be wrong but it's giving me the prison vibe let's go ahead and scroll down to see what it looks like on the inside let's see so all the way down you have a you have a place over here with some tape oh so i guess this is like the cafeteria area you have the kitchen over there they're in the bathrooms then you have like the rooms over here so i'm guessing these are like jail cells let's bring the, all the walls up yeah so these are like the jail cells oh yeah okay so you have like the rooms right here you have like the little guards desk where they can like look out uh, rip to that sim there's also like the showers back here let's bring the walls back down again there's like the showers back there then over here's like another bed let's go ahead and go upstairs real quick so then when you go upstairs there's like more rooms up here as well and then i don't know what's over here in this back room i guess these are like showers maybe or, like they used to be showers maybe and then let's go upstairs again and then there's nothing else up here but i think these are like little watch towers if i'm not mistaken we can scroll down to one really quick yeah i think these are like little watch towers which the sims can come and walk out to and you know the Guards cup out and keep an eye on the inmates but that's pretty interesting like this is a really cool lot like y'all this this world's super cool we looked at the majority of the map over here let's go ahead and go down here to this little area let's check this out i don't know what this is it looks like, it looks like it's a park but let's check this out real quick all right y'all so we're down here in this area it looks like it was a park because it looks like some ash or something or maybe that's just a lump of dirt let's see if there's something in this building real quick no so this building is also kind of empty there is a dumpster out here that you can dumpster dive at let's let's just turn around real quick just to see if there's anything out here oh there is like this little building over here i don't know what this is let's uh see what's inside here real quick oh okay let's see so it there is just some some scrap but there's nothing really else inside of here there is a, a skeleton but there's nothing really else inside of here you could definitely add more onto it if you want and i guess since we're in the area y'all let's just check out like these houses since we're like right here to it so let's check out this one first and then we'll check out this one so let's see so oh i like the brick on this house you know i like the brick you have like the old truck out here i think this one came with fast lane stuff so you won't eat that pack as well and i want to say the scarecrow came with riverview the free world on sims store so i think you will need that one as well but let's go ahead and scroll down to see what the inside of this house looks like so when you come in you have the bookshelf a little living room area with the kitchen there's also a bathroom back here and a bedroom right here as well so when you go upstairs you have some chairs over here in the corner <laughs> um you also have a little walkthrough area with the bookshelf i guess this was a kids room maybe or like a little storage room i don't see like a crib or anything like that or a bed but you have uh some kids stuff in this room and then you also have another bedroom maybe the kids room used to be this one and they moved they moved into this one but you have like a you know nice little teens room you know or maybe it could be a kids room with the stereo the zebra print couch <laughs> and you also have like a bed and stuff like that with a poster and all that so that's pretty cool and then there is like the scarecrow out here as well and a little park bench out here in the back so let's go ahead and check out this house beside it let's go ahead and scroll down i do like how it looks on the outside so there is a bathroom over here in this corner there's also the living room over here there is the dining room with the kitchen over there and a little chair right there let's go ahead and go upstairs so when you go upstairs you have a little walk through hallway right here a bedroom over here with some bunk beds another bedroom right here another bedroom right here another bedroom over here and then a bathroom so you could definitely build more onto this house if you would like and fully furnish it if you would like you also have a little balcony that your sims could come out on so you could definitely put something out there if you would like maybe like a chair or something this house beside it is set dressing y'all so you can't actually open it up or anything like that okay y'all so we looked at a lot of the stuff over here in this area there are more things to see over here but we're gonna check this little area out real quick just so we can look at all the community lots so let's check out this real quick it looks like it was a lounge but i don't know if it's still there okay y'all so it looks like there was a lounge or something out here but I, it's not there anymore oh you know what maybe this is the lounge wait let's open it up let's scroll down real quick oh it's all it's all on the same light oh maybe this is the lounge you know what let's turn on all the lights in here okay let's see so this room over here appears to be like a gym and then you have like the showers over here with the little sitting area the bathrooms back here a self-serving bar let's go ahead and scroll up so there's really nothing up here you do have the bathrooms so i guess this building was like the gym maybe and then let's check this one out and then this one you have like a little office over here the grand piano area is this like a dorm room or something i'm not sure you have a bathroom right here you also have a little like study room maybe this is like a little library or something over here in this corner you also have a little, another office over here and then you have a bathroom in this corner and then when you go upstairs there's nothing up here but a bathroom so nothing at the top as well so let's go ahead and go to the building beside it let's go to this building real quick so this one looks like it has a the bar so you have a bar over here with places to sit you have a bedroom back here an empty room right there a bathroom in this corner uh in this corner back here and then this one over here then you have an empty room as well then you also have like a little area where you can like do art you have the foosball tables let's go ahead and go upstairs and then this you have more bathrooms up here and then you have a fireplace up here and then is there anything else above this no you have like another fireplace up here and then is and then it's pretty much empty but you could definitely build way more onto this little lot if you want to y'all all right y'all so let's go ahead and check out 
about this little area over here all right y'all so this little place is classified as a hangout there's a lot of buildings so let's just scroll down oh they're like all on the same lot oh that's pretty cool there's even stuff below it there's a lot down here okay you know what let's start all the way at the bottom let's see so we started all the way at the bottom then y'all so there's nothing here nothing here nothing up here we have some uh series of hallways looks like what's over here in this room so down here appears to be like are these like tombs or something or a dungeon maybe i don't know you have like a little desk right there and some debris and a bed over there so maybe your sims could sleep down here there's also a bathroom maybe this is like a prison or something this is kind of interesting though you have like some more empty rooms and stuff like that and then over here appears to be a little bathroom area and a place to sit let's scroll upstairs again so then okay so now we're like up on the surface so let's check out this room first so there is like a gym over here with the pull-up bar weight machine and treadmill this looks like a library i guess let's scroll up so there's nothing really up here and then nothing up here nothing up here okay nothing else in this building all right so let's check out this building beside it next so this one is pretty empty yeah so okay so the one right beside it is pretty empty let's go to the ones back here we'll start in this one and then we'll go to the one beside it okay so this one appears just to have bathroom a bathroom in the back and an office over here let's scroll up so up here it's just like more boxes and stuff like that and then there's nothing else in this building and then the, the one beside it let's scroll down real quick so in this one you have an office a bathroom you have the inventing tables and you also have the scrap and then up here you have the drafting tables from ambitions and then when you go up again there's nothing else pretty much up here and then let's go to the lot beside it so let's go ahead and scroll all the way down okay so over here you have the bar with places to sit and a pool table you also have a bathroom and a bedroom back here as well and then you have a bathroom in this corner and you have the dumpster back in the back and then there's an empty room back there let's go ahead and go upstairs again so up here you have tons of bedrooms like here here all over you have a ton of bedrooms up here there's also like a little kitcheny type of area a bathroom and a little like officey room you also have a sitting room right here and then the dining room over there let's scroll upstairs again and then upstairs again at the top you have more bedrooms a bathroom and another bedroom over in this corner and then you have a lot of empty space that you could build more onto and then you can even come up here to the top and build stuff if you would like but this little area is kind of cool though i'm not gonna lie this little area was really cool all right y'all so let's keep going let's go ahead next and check out this little area and then we'll check out the graveyard beside it all right y'all so this little place kind of looks like a church or something or a schoolhouse maybe let's scroll down oh okay so it is like a little church or something where you just or like a chapel or something your sims could get married here y'all so you have like the park benches the wedding arch i think this one came with generations and then you also have like the candles back out here as well so you can have your sims get married over here and then over here across the street is the graveyard it looks kind of spooky out here not gonna lie you have the graves and the park benches the mausoleum over here so you can explore the catacombs get a part-time job or tour the mausoleum and then what's over here in the back there is like a little house over here i guess you could live here and then there are some stairs that lead downward we'll look down below in a bit but let's check this little house out real quick oh and there's even some more stairs down here wait a minute so there's like a little kitcheny area over here with the kitchen table and the bathrooms back here let's scroll down really quick so down here are vampire alt altars oh so your vampires can come down here and go to sleep there's also some rubble that your sims can clear off now let's go down below because there is something below this okay so down here is just empty space you could definitely build more onto it and then over here in this room you have another vampire alt altar if you need one but you have like some more like sim skeletons so you know rip to them all right y'all so the stuff over here is just set dressing so you can't actually like go inside of it let's go ahead and go to this side of the map so let's check out these two houses this is the one to place elliot down at but let's check out this one first beside it all right y'all so we have this small little house i think it's like a little cabin let's go ahead and open it up let's see so when you come inside you have the kitchen over here with the kitchen table the bathroom we have like the beds over here and a fireplace so that's pretty cool all right y'all so the house beside it is the one that i placed elliot down at let's go ahead and open it up so when you come inside you have the bed over here the table the kitchen and then you have the bathroom over here with the dresser and if you don't know who elliot is y'all he is my tori god sim he is in most of my world overview videos he was also in my nightmare legacy challenge series that i'm doing on my channel i will leave a link down below if you want to watch it but let's go ahead and keep moving all right y'all so we looked at those houses let's go ahead and see if we can get into this one i'm not sure if this is a house or not but we'll check out this one and then we'll work our way back and then we'll go back over here so let's check out this house next uh we're at the house beside elliot's house there's also like a porch where you could put stuff down in a park bench out here let's go ahead and go down so when you come down and open it up you have the kitchen over here the kitchen table bathroom the little nursery over here in this corner there are, there's also two bedrooms with two beds in each of them there's also like a chair in this one so you can definitely have like a lot of sims to stay in this house and then there's also like a back door that leads to the backyard that you can definitely add more things out here if you would like let's go ahead and check out the railway station ruin and then we'll check out this house and then we'll go over here next so let's check out this one first all right y'all so this is the railway ruin let's go ahead and open it up to see what it looks like on the inside oh okay so i see some bathrooms right here you have like the little place i guess where your sims could wait for the train you didn't you have like the empty rooms and stuff like that and then when we scroll up then there's also like a desk right here with some office chairs and then you have a bathroom over here in this corner and then there's like a little fridge in here so i guess this was like a little kitchen maybe and then you have a bed in here so that's pretty cool and then there's also like a dresser with a uh chair in here as well so maybe your sims could use to stay here or something like that
something like that. All right, let's check out this big house over here. This is like a big mansion. Let's go ahead and check this one out. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and open it up. So you have the you have tables over here. You also have the kitchen over here, the bathrooms, the showers over here, and then you have like a little sitting area with more tables for your Sims to sit at and eat. And let's go ahead and go upstairs. So when you go upstairs, you have a bathroom right here, a bedroom, a more beds over here. You also have a bathroom right here, and then you have like a little nursery area for uh, a lot of babies or toddlers to sleep in. And then you have like a little chair over here in this corner. And then there's nothing else up here. There's like a little back area that you could add more onto. Is this like an orphanage or something? Y'all, wait. What if this is like an orphanage? Cause you have like little swings that. What is that? Like, y'all, wait a minute. I gotta figure out what's going on. I gotta get the save file, y'all. Go check out that save file. But all right, y'all. So we looked at this building. Let's go ahead over here next, and we'll check out this place. This is the the destroyed warehouse. So let's go ahead and check this out real quick. So let's go ahead and open it up. So you have like boxes and containers in this one. More boxes and containers. You have us uh, some stairs that lead upward. We'll, we'll check out up in a bit. And then over here, you just have like more boxes and containers and stuff like that. And then back here, you have like a shower. Let's go ahead and scroll up. So then when you go up, there's really nothing up here. Just some place where your Sims could walk at. And then you also have like another area where your Sims can walk. But otherwise, it's pretty empty. There's also a dumpster where your Sims could dumpster dive if you would like. And then over here is like where you have like the two criminal careers at. All right, y'all. So let's go ahead and check out this area next. Let's check out the ruined park. All right, y'all. So you have the ruined park out here. You have the chess table out here, places to sit, the swing set, the picnic table, and the grill out here. And then let's go ahead and open this up and see what's on the inside of this. So there's really nothing but trees and stuff like that that are growing. You know, it is kind of destroyed. There's also a skeleton down here. So RIP to that sim. But there's really nothing else out here. All right, y'all. So next, let's go ahead and check out the Nightmare City Wraithes. And then we'll check out this lot. And then we'll check out this little area back here. So let's check out this first. All right, y'all. This place is kind of spooky. There's like this little like playground out here. Like, look at this little playground like the with the bathroom stall and stuff like that. So spooky. Let's go ahead and open this up. I don't know what's out here. Let's open it up. Oh, so it's kind of empty on the inside. You do have the bathrooms back here. But it, other than that, it's pretty empty. <laughs> and then again, there is like this little park out here. From the map, you can see that it is a park. So yeah, you have like the little park down here. Let's go ahead and check out what this lot is behind it. Because I don't know what this is. Is this like a house? Let's go ahead and check this out real quick. All right, y'all. So I'm seeing some picnic tables out here and some scrap in the back. Let's go ahead and scroll down to see what's on the inside. So in here, you have beds and a table. You have a bathroom back here. More beds in here. Bathroom over here. You have like a little kitcheny area over here. And then let's scroll down. And then when you scroll all the way down, y'all, you have like a lot of different rooms. So you have like a little room in here with the with the TV, a weight room, another little kitchen area. You have a bathroom, a computer room, bedrooms over here. You have a bathroom and showers. And then over here, you have like the chemistry table and the inventing table. You have another room in here with the computer desk and TV and the stereo. You have some sleeping bags over here in this area with some picnic tables. I don't know what this, what is this place supposed to be, y'all? All right, y'all. So there is one more area that I just saw. You have to scroll way over here. There's like this little area right here. It's like, a, the, it's called the old gas station and it looks like there's a house out here and it looks like it's sim hinge out here as well and i don't think there's anything else out here i think we've seen everything else but you do maybe you could build over here maybe but yeah i don't know what's over here and here's the thing i don't know how you would even get over here y'all because this area is blocked off even the ice cream truck can't get over here i don't think so i don't know but let's go ahead and check it out so it is the old gas station so let's go check this out real quick oh yeah it is like an old gas station let's go ahead and open it up oh yeah okay let's see so you have like the places to sit down at you have the bar and you have the the little like room right here with the fridge and you have like the bathroom you have a bedroom where your sims could sleep at you have a bathroom right here and then you also have the garage right here which is pretty cool and then there was like a house um somewhere over here There's, this is sim hinge by the way but there is like a house over here so let's go ahead and check this house out really quick and there is like a pet house out here in a food bowl let's go ahead and roll down there are some stairs that lead downward we'll check that out in a bit all right let's see so in here there is a kitchen a kitchen table and you also have the bunk beds right here and then you have the bathroom right here and then let's go scroll down really quick so there doesn't really appear to be much down here but a box of tissues you could definitely build more onto it if you would like so that's pretty cool all right y'all so i am in edit town mode because i was really curious to see if you could live out here you actually can so you can have like a little place to section off from civilization and i'm just going to scroll over the world really quick to see if there's any more like empty lots that you could build at so there's one here and one over there even though you don't see any by default you could definitely like place more lots down i'm sure so that's pretty cool but anyway y'all that is all that i have for this video again this world is called nightmare valley it's very spooky y'all i love the setting there is a save file which is going to be linked in the download page i highly suggest this world y'all like it's really creepy like i love the vibe of this place but anyway y'all that is all that i have for this video if you did enjoy it please be sure to leave a like comment something down below be sure to subscribe if you haven't already we got to 700 subs y'all and i just want to say thank y'all i really appreciate y'all so much and i'm gonna keep going and uh, hopefully y'all keep watching but anyway y'all that is all that i have for this one be sure to join my discord server we talk a lot about the sims 3 in there and also follow me on twitch following is free but anyway y'all that is all that i have for this video and i'll see y'all in the next one bye thanks for watching